Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your monthly love, Korean finance, and health and wellness forecast horoscope for March. And thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you like a personal read with me or you would like to get my purchase my new Oracle deck, it is jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. So guys, please remember these are general messages and you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. So we're going to cover love and the feelings of your love interest career and finance and then health and wellness so stick with me till the end let's jump right in and if you like it this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below all right let's jump right in on my pisces romantic love life what's going on with my pisces career and finance give me nine cards for my pisces romantic love life give me six cards for their career and finance for the time period of march show me the cards i need to see show me the cards i need to see Okay, feels good. What's going on with my Pisces romantic love life? What's going on with my Pisces career and finance? Give me nine cards for my Pisces romantic love life. What's this card? Sun card energy. Okay, happiness, luck. All right, let's start this over again, Pisces. Uh, what's going on with my Pisces romantic love life? What's going on with my Pisces career and finance? Give me nine cards for my Pisces romantic love life. Give me six cards for their career and finance for the time period of March. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so this is going to be for your feelings, for their feelings for you. How does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Pisces love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's do this. All right, so we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And here's the feelings. And here is the advice. Here is the career and finance. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're gonna layer more cards on top of this and we're gonna go to your health uh, and wellness. So stick with me till the end, let's jump right in. So the central issue here, I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, okay. Uh, so there seems to be some wisdom about, okay, what do I wanna do on the long-term basis here? Okay, and the first card that comes up is some of you are ending something to start anew. Now, there's some kind of ending of a cycle here. There's something that's transforming here with the death card energy. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. So you're ending something to start anew because you want to fulfill your desires here with the Nine of Cups energy. And you are gaining the courage and the strength and the confidence here. Or somebody is ending something so they can fulfill their desires with you and they're trying to gain that strength, that courage, and the confidence. So I'm gonna clarify that. Yeah. There is an ending of blockages, delays, and challenges, the mountain card energy, because there's movement happening, travel movement or change happening when it comes to your fulfillment of your wishes. Yeah, there's the star card energy, the strength, their strength, their courage. You're fulfilling your wishes with the star card energy, okay? Uh, with, the, with the ship card energy, you're moving towards fulfilling your wishes. You're having that strength and that courage and that confidence there. Wow, okay. So some big changes happening for you guys, okay? Some big transformational changes here. Um, and you're moving past all these, these things that have been challenging you for a while. So you're actually having movement now. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles energy is saying, okay, they're single and available, okay, Nine of Pentacles energy, or you're so focused here, Nine of Pentacles energy, because you're ready to make a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment energy, or they are. And there is this sense of a dreamy kind of energy or this sense of confusion here. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. There's something secret here, book card energy, about a reconciliation, a risk, okay, with the clover card energy, which is causing some stress here with the mice card energy. So I feel like what's going on here is 
there is a sense of, all right, I need to be wise in my decision making when it comes to long-term commitments. And it's time to move past these blockage delays and challenges. So I'm gonna to have to end this situation to start something new here. And I'm gaining that courage and that strength to fulfill my wishes here. I'm ready to fulfill my desires. I'm taking these actions here, this movement, this change, this travel. And I am gaining knowledge about focusing, self-focus there, nine of pentacles energy. I'm isolating myself from that because I've been confused and it's caused me a lot of stress here. Okay, let's see what's going on with this person's feelings towards you. So they feel like you're very nurturing, right? They're very caring, very grounding. And you know what? You really surprised them. You really shocked them and surprised them with a transformation card. You really took them by surprise because this for me is like the tower card energy. You gave them a huge breakthrough, okay? They have the sense that you're very nurturing, you're very caring, you really help them out, you really take care of them, you're really considerate of them, and they feel like this has gave them a huge breakthrough when it comes to the connection between you and them. It's really something that really took them off guard, it really surprised them, it really shocked them. So your advice is, this is like the Ace of Cups energy for my deck, new love, potential new love here, right? Follow your heart here when it comes to an opportunity of true love here and focus on what makes you happy because a positive outcome is assured for you guys, okay? With the happiness card. And if we see here, wow, you do have a lot of court card energy too as well because we have the um, King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and then we have the Aries Sagittarius Leo energy, another Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and we have a King and Queen sitting together. Wow, that's really interesting there. Okay, so we see there is um, traditional values in marriage involved with the situation with the Hierophant card. Yeah, stability and stableness here. And it looks like there's wisdom when it comes to passions and romance here with the Moon card energy. And we see the Queen of Cups energy, excuse me, Queen of Wands energy. You definitely are radiating this attractive energy and there is definitely people just checking you out there with a the garden card energy. So we see that at the central of this, you're like, All right, well, I need to be wise in the decision making because there's a sense of risk or luck here. You have some delays and challenges because it's something to do with marriage and long-term commitment and something traditional here is what's make you stuck. But you know, you're being patient when it comes to your passion because you do have a lot of choices and options and you're gaining the strength to fulfill your wishes here with the star card energy. And I feel like you are uh, fulfilling your desires here. There's a, there is a sense of single and available and you're gaining knowledge about this romance and making wise decisions when it comes to passions and you're, you're moving past these confusions and the stress here around the situation. That's what I feel like. And I'm just gonna pull, um, I'm just gonna pull one more advice card down here. Yeah, I thought so. Queen of Wands energy is there sexual union cards coming out. So it's saying there's new love here. Your advice is new love here or an opportunity of true love here and focus on what makes you happy. And there is strong passion and a physical connection here, right? Because this person, you took them by surprise because you were so nurturing and so caring here. So I feel like something is coming together with you guys with this romantic uh, situation. I feel like some of you are coming out of a long-term relationship for some of you here, okay? And there is uh, this new situation going on here. Uh, which is really going to make you happy and this person feels like you're very nurturing and very caring and you've really surprised and shocked them because I do feel like there's two people here and there's romance here and it looks like you guys have a lot of choices and options you're looking over or there's something to do with family or friends that could be influencing this because it's just causing some blockages delays or challenges or for some of you you have more than one choice or option which is causing this blockage delay and challenge here wow okay I do want to hear from you guys in the comments below. We're now going to move on to your career and finance here. So we see that the Empress card energy is, you have a lot of potential for creative energy here. The Empress also represents abundance. So you're dealing with a lot of abundance here and you're building a foundation here with the Three of Pentacles energy. You're working together to build this foundation here with the Three of Pentacles energy. And again, Three energy is saying there's a lot of creativeness around that. And we see you have an opportunity coming up for you guys. And it seems to be a wise decision there with the Lily's card energy. You guys are dealing with a partnership for some of you because we got the lover's card energy. Okay, or you're making choices with your heart here. Yeah, it's really gonna make you happy with the sun card energy. And the sun card, remember, represents luck. So big luck is on your side. 
and also can represent material abundance. You have this Ten of Swords, so you're coming out of whatever has been going on with you with the Ten of Swords energy. It's coming to a completion here because you're getting this letter, this message in this document, okay? This contract possibly. And Seven of Pentacles, it's you're investing some time into this, right? You're waiting for things to kind of play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. So there's a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating going on here. And what, what about when it comes to your burdens and responsibilities here with the cross card energy? So you have an opportunity. It's really going to make you happy, but you feel like you're, you're going to have to take on some more responsibility. There is this sense of building a foundation and there's patient energy. And you feel like, all right, I have to complete some things here. You know, uh, some things have been really hurtful, painful here, you know, mentally. And you're moving past that. You're completing that. You're coming out of that because it's something to do with this letter, this message, this document, this contract. And um, there are some challenges here because if you look at this particular devil card energy, you see that there are two different angles coming at this person, like two different uh, people talking in this person's ear, one more or less an angel and a devil talking in this person's ear. So you may be getting two different angles from your situation, which is causing you a little bit of challenges here with the devil card energy. Yeah, because the whip card is saying, you know, something repetitive or some repeating patterns keep happening here, which is causing challenges around that. Because it's like you're, 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 you're like, you're like, I don't know which way to go here. That's what I feel like with that energy. So you got this choice you have to make, you have this opportunity, and obviously there is definitely some abundance happening for you guys. You may have to work together in a team environment to get this done, to build this foundation, which is actually what's gonna cause you the challenges because it's gonna be like, you know, two different people talking. That's what I feel like, or two different directions you feel like you wanna go into, which is gonna be making you feel like, I need to be patient here and I have all these challenges and burdens, or you're gonna take on more challenges and burdens around this with the cross card energy, or you're gonna feel a bit burdened by it with the cross card energy, which is gonna cause you challenges around, around this choice. You're like, I don't know if I wanna get hurt here, I wanna keep doing these repeating patterns, or there's something repetitive about it with the whip card energy. Okay, so be careful of that. I'm gonna pull one more card. Seven of Swords, also the Devil card is next to Seven of Swords. Maybe you feel like someone is being a little bit deceptive or not revealing everything about their thoughts here. Let me just pull one more card here. When it comes to something that you love, you truly love with the heart card energy. And let me pull one more card because a decision or something to do with something legal here with the justice card energy and yeah, contract here with the ring card energy, commitment, engagement, contract here with the ring card energy. So it looks to me like there's some challenges and you like feel like there's something hidden there for you. And like maybe two different people are coming at you or two different thought patterns are happening here when it comes because obviously there's something to do with someone else involved with the situation. And you're like, are they being honest with me? You know, is this something truly I'm going to love? And it's like, you're going to have to make a decision, have to commit to that. Right, or there's something to do with the contract around that. Wow, okay. All right, my darlings, we're gonna move now into your health advice here. Can I have some advice for my Pisces health and wellness? For the month of March, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh man, I, I figured that was gonna come out. Easy does it, and you're not the only sign that came out for either. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your month, and I will see you soon.